Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that's very, very requested and that's how I take my nail pictures. So I'm really excited about this and I know that a lot of people have been asking me. Um, sometimes people will ask me like on Instagram or something like how I take my photos and I'm just going to show you guys how you can edit and the most essential things that I think you need to taking really good quality photos um and yeah you guys so we're gonna get into it and i am gonna start off with this really amazing package that i got from julia uh jewelry it's like so so beautiful you guys wait till you see this so it's so cute because it's meant to be like a gift i guess you could say and when you open it it comes with this little pamphlet um that includes every single thing like that's new to their uh website and stuff like that and I absolutely love it because just look how cute everything is. You guys can clearly see like the little things. Look at the little Jack and Sally ones. So something that I really love about this specific brand is that they do their best to give back. So on their website it says that they do everything they can to support um, organizations to make a difference for like animals, uh, sea life and everything like that. So I really, really love that about this brand and um, they have specific categories on their website that you guys can go to which I'll also leave links to those specific um, products that you can choose from that like when you purchase those they'll specifically give back to nonprofit um, organizations for stuff like um, that's really just important and things that I really, really love. They have so many cute little turtle ones and like um penguin one so i'll leave the link to some of my favorite ones that i saw on the website down below in case you guys wanted to check it out and um i'm also going to be leaving the link for the ones i'm getting down below as well and what i love is it comes with this really cute little bag which is so cute because you can literally buy um like a ring or a necklace or something for someone in your family or someone that you love and you can definitely have like a cute little bag to put it in put some tissue paper it would be so cute so we're going to get into the ring. So it's so, so beautiful and it is going to be a three-piece set. Um, I absolutely love wearing rings in all of my photos. The reason why I included a ring in this video is because you need a ring to take a really cute nail picture. You can have one ring, you can have like stacked rings. Um, it makes a really big difference in your photos, you guys. It really, really does. Go to any really good nail text page and you can definitely notice they use rings. A lot of press-on artists also use them. Um, it just changes your photos and makes them so gorgeous. So we're going to go into the ring. This is a three-piece set and this is what it looks like. It's so, so beautiful. I really, really love it. And um, I'm just like so obsessed with it. So this ring set is called the uh, three-piece pair cut sterling silver eternity ring set. And this is so worth your money, you guys. This ring is so high quality and so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I literally can't even begin to explain how beautiful it is. And the fact that it's a set, you can literally use multiple rings on different fingers. You can use them all on one finger stacked, which is how it's supposed to be worn. Um, you can literally do whatever you want. The possibilities are endless, especially if you get a set like this. So I'm showing you guys here how it fits on. Um, it does only fit my ring finger because I have really, really chubby fingers, you guys. So I'm just showing you here that you can literally wear them like stacked like this. And you can also um, put like the bigger one on the ring finger. I actually ended up uh, keeping them on and I wear them and they're so gorgeous. They don't turn your finger green, of course. They're so high quality. They're so stunning. And I get so many compliments. If you guys wear rings like this, you will literally get so many compliments because people will just look at it and literally be like, oh my gosh, your ring's so cute. And look at that, you guys. Look at the sparkle. The sparkle is insane. I literally am in love with it. So in love. I'm obsessed. So I'm absolutely in love with them and I'm going to be showing you guys how I use rings to take my nail photos and how you can really, really make your pictures stand out and what you're going to need, um, you know, along with rings and the bomb nail sets that you do. And look at you guys. Oh my gosh. So gorgeous. I'm obsessed. So like I said, I am going to be leaving the link down below for this um, specific set of rings and um, for my favorite collections that they have that it helps wildlife and uh, it goes to a good cause so i'm going to be leaving links for some of my favorite pieces from those collections and uh this really beautiful set as well and i really hope you guys enjoy if you guys end up getting some let me know 
And if any of the tips in this video help you guys with your nail pictures, feel free to let me know. Tell me, you know, if you helped, if anything helped you, if you feel like your Instagram feed is really standing out. I know for sure that um, having really good pictures and really cute uh, props, adding props to your photos and everything like that really helps your photos stand out and really helps with social media followers and stuff like that. If that's something that you're interested in, um, just upgrading your followings, especially if you have a YouTube channel and you kind of use your social media to promote that in a way which is what I do um, that would really really help you as well so yeah you guys let's get into the video so if you're gonna be taking photos of your nail sets with um, your phone I use my iPhone I don't use anything fancy I absolutely love getting these really cute backgrounds from Michaels so this one's like a gold wooden themed one with like a beige background um, behind it it's so beautiful this one is like a marble one with like gold flakes in it I love this one too and and you guys they have so many options it honestly would be so freaking cute to like theme your Instagram with like the kind of set it is like if it's a pink set you know kind of match the themes if you're trying to go for a more really classy look maybe one of these type of wallpaper backgrounds and it will really really make the biggest difference even if you film youtube videos you guys you can get one of these like a simple one that's not too distracting and it will definitely add on to your pictures and your video quality your content everything i absolutely love adding a little prop like this like one of these flower arrangements um i'll link this down below as well but this is so gorgeous and just adding this you guys will see how much this is going to change my background just for this video i have a lot of people that will message me and say that they um need help taking their photos that their uh photos don't come out good and like no matter what they do and um you guys it's really not that fancy at all which is why i'm making this video i want you guys to all be able to have bomb pictures because when you have really amazing pictures it really helps your work stand out um, you can definitely tell that if I was to take a really bad photo that it would definitely alter everything like it would make everything just look completely different and I kind of wish I would have took a before and after like showing how your photo could possibly look like before you do all the touch-ups and everything like that and then how it can look after you upgrade it use um, the tips that I'm helping you here so right now I actually still have this nail set on you guys which is crazy so I'm gonna take a really quick normal picture right now just like how I used to do when I first started doing nails I didn't really know about taking pictures I never really researched anything I never tried to make my pictures look nice so I'm gonna show you guys how that could look and then I'm gonna show you guys the tips that I would give to so right here as you can see just with having this background and this little prop in the photo um you guys can use any type of floral arrangement you would like this is a rose bouquet that lasts one year so it's really perfect for taking uh, nail products and having a really consistent uh feed on your instagram or whatever social media you use so as you can see just this right here would be a perfect photo if i snapped a picture right there i would be so happy with the way the photo looks because it looks really really gorgeous so that is like one thing you can do and then now I zoomed out and I'm going to show you guys my tips on how I would take a photo. So don't mind the mess um, on my desk. That's the best thing about a photo and social media you guys. It is most of the time all edited, all fake, everything like that. Of course with your nails and your work you want to be as genuine as possible. So I'm not going to show the whole mess in the background. I'm going to make sure everything looks really clean and crisp which is what I'm gonna do. So right here, I'm just taking my iPhone. I don't have any fancy settings on it. I'm just gonna snap a picture and making sure that all the outside things are cut off. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, you can really see the ring. It looks so gorgeous. It really adds in onto the photo. If I had no ring, it would just have my bare fingers and I hate the way my fingers look. So if you hate your fingers, I really recommend getting any type of ring because it would really help you out. So now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you guys how I would go about editing this. So this is how the picture looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to rotate it. You don't have to rotate. Um, it depends honestly Sometimes I rotate sometimes I don't it depends like how my photo was taken And then now what I'm gonna be doing is I go into my exposure and I'm gonna be just taking the photo and um, Kind of upping the exposure a little bit I kind of play around with all of the different little features that the iPhone has I also go into brilliance, turn it up a little bit, um, depending what it is. Sometimes I go to highlights and turn it up or down. And you guys can just really see like how I'm just playing around with it. I don't do anything specific, but I highly recommend trying out these settings because once you try the settings out, you'll literally want to use it every time because it really does make a difference with your photos. Um, with tint, I always recommend going in with tint right there. I was showing you guys. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that I wasn't like clearly 
um, showing the whole entire screen, but I always use tint. It makes your photos look a little more, um, I don't know how to explain it, less like dull, I guess you could say. It brightens up your picture a little bit. I really recommend using that. And then now this is what the finished photo looks like, you guys. So I'm going to insert a picture of what this photo looks like here, and I'm going to show you guys what um, my photo would have looked like before and after. So now what I'm doing is I'm going into Facetune just a little bit. What I like to do is I like to kind of go over and ex uh, accentuate like the nail uh, rhinestones and stuff like that. So what you can do is you can just go to smooth. I like to smooth over um, certain parts. Sometimes my nails will be really crusty like my, not my nail, my skin around my nails. As you guys know, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but I bite my um like I have a habit of like picking at my skin and it's really really disgusting really bad I know so I do go around and then just kind of smooth out that area a little tiny bit you don't want to overdo this part definitely do not overdo it this is literally for the smallest little touch-ups like this is for nothing serious you don't want to make your photos look fake or like if it's not your real work or anything like that I barely even touch up the actual nails that I did most of the time it's just touching up either the background things like if there's something I don't want in the background or if it's my fingers looking dry and disgusting so that's the only time I'll do that I did already go ahead and post one of the pictures but I'm going to show you guys how it would look if you want to post it on Instagram so I'm just going in like that and then I'm going to be um, kind of zooming in on the parts that's most important kind of taking away some of the parts of my hand and then I think here I'm going to just go in and crop it out a little bit so I'm going in there and cropping out a little bit of the bottom that doesn't need to show basically you want to accentuate what you're trying to make the photo about if that makes sense I want the floral arrangement to just be a part of the photo not the whole photo and then um, now I'm going to insert the picture of what it looks like here so don't mind that my nails look horrendous. I've been working while wearing them and they're still on. But this is how the photo would have looked if I did no editing or like if I didn't have any props, no background, just taking a picture on my desk. This is how it would have looked. So now I'm going to show you guys how this picture looks which is the final product it looks so so beautiful um if you don't want it to look as pink you can definitely turn the tint down and that'll like take the pinkness down um and the vibrancy and stuff like that if you're taking if you're taking a picture of a really um pretty hand painted set with vibrant colors you want to turn the vibrance up so that the vib the colors look more vibrant and yeah, you guys, overall, I just really love the outcome of this photo. It's absolutely gorgeous. I wish I could have used it for my thumbnail, but I think I used a photo like this for my last thumbnail. So I'm going to be switching it up. But yeah, this is exactly how you would want your nail pictures to look. As you can see, this is just such a beautiful representation of how you can just elevate your nail photos. And if you do press-ons, this is ex the exact same process. Uh, you definitely want to up your exposure, your brightness on both of um both of the settings for your press on photos because that'll really just make everything look a lot cleaner brighter and just better and um the only difference for press ons is i don't have to use a background or props because you're just i like to take my press on photos really up close that's something that i've noticed is that i like taking them closer up because you can really see the detail in the set that's what I like to do. That's my aesthetic for my press on page. I don't like when my photos are taken so far back because I feel like you can't really see what's going on in the nail set. So always keep that in mind. The closer your nails are to the photo or the closer the photo is, the better your nails will look. But and another thing can be that um, that you can do is you can literally take your photos in natural lighting. So if you have a window in the area that you do your press-ons in or your acrylic nails, maybe um, opening the blinds or something, letting the natural sunlight in and hit the nails will make a really beautiful photo depending on which angle you're at. Um, even going outside, I know a lot of people take their photos outside too, that's really cute. But overall, like I said, taking it up close is better, which is what I do. Um, of course, you can do whatever you would like. It's up to your own unique style and your aesthetic. But that's what I do just to make sure that all the detail and my hard work on my nail sets is seen. And you can really see everything up close um, as far as gem placement, anything hand painted, everything like that. So the next most important thing that you need to worry about is lighting. So I've noticed that every single place that I've had to do my nails at always has the worst lighting. So the room that I have right now is pretty dark even though the walls are very light. I don't know why but I think it's because my ring light is dying out on me. This is the ring light that I have. As you can see it was purchased May 14, 2020. So I got it in the beginning of the pandemic kind of and um, I've had it ever since then. 
it's really just been my ride or die light it's super super bright you guys it can literally light up a whole entire room i have no light source in here except for this lamp and the other one that i'm going to show you guys but i really love it because I think it's meant for like makeup or something. But it also says right there like YouTube, TikTok and stuff like that. Like you can use it for whatever. I don't actually hook my phone up to it or anything. But I think there is a mount for that. I literally don't know what it came with. I literally just use the light and the little like clear things that come with it over the light bulbs themselves. But I really, really do love it. As you can see, the reviews are really, really amazing. There's like 45,000 reviews or something like that. And they're like almost all like five out of five stars so i do really love this lamp if you guys wanted to invest in it i would recommend it what literally i'm so mad you guys because when i bought this lamp it was like 220 dollars i'm not even joking it was so expensive and the price is so freaking cheap now i'm like what the heck like i literally bought this for so expensive in the beginning of the pandemic but i think it's because you know everyone was struggling and the people selling it probably needed money or something but i did buy it for that price so it, this is technically a really good price because considering um how amazing it, it is but i did find a more affordable option for you guys i found this one right here um this one is 39.99 the reviews are also really freaking amazing as you can see almost five out of five stars just like the other one this one is going to be a little bit shorter um the one that i have is really really tall that's why i said it can light up a whole room i don't have this one so i don't know how it works but looking on the reviews it looks like it can be really really bright and then the next that thing I do use is a regular desk lamp. I have this sitting on my actual desk. Um, if you guys saw my room tour, you can see it. it. Mine looks really different. This isn't the exact same one, but I just like this one because it's an actual like clamp, I think, or something, which is really cool because it can just hook up to your desk instead of actually taking up space like mine does. It's so annoying, but I don't recommend the one I have. Mine is literally just a random one from Home Depot from years and years ago. It was like 20 bucks. That's why I chose one that was also $20. But this one um, here also has really, really good reviews. I always look at reviews when I'm ordering stuff from Amazon and then this one also has a coupon if you wanted to use that I really don't know if it works you guys I don't have this one but like I said it just looked good you can also search like ultra bright desk lamp and there's some that are meant for like engineers and it's supposed to be really bright so that you can actually see what you're doing very clearly I recommend one of those as well um, and then of course you can also go the route of buying an actual lamp for an actual nail desk but I think those are so expensive I'm not really sure but if you're willing to um, splurge on something like that, you can definitely do that as well. I'm not really sure which one um, you can buy or anything. Probably watch like a really, really um, like not famous, well-known YouTuber on here. Maybe a nailed YouTuber will have a room tour and show what they use, something like that. But this is just what I use, you guys. It's a really simple little setup. It's nothing fancy. Um, eventually, I do want to get another ring light and have two ring lights in my room to have the lighting be even better and then to have better qu quality content for you guys. I really want to get some studio lights, like those really big, like rectangle-shaped ones to make everything just so much better because I feel like sometimes in my videos, everything looks really dark. And that's just my opinion because I hold myself... Um, kind of to a high standard I guess you can say like not really but like I kind of do um sometimes I'm like damn like my, my quality can be better but you guys it's nothing fancy I literally just film with my iPhone that's all I use to film it's my, I think the iPhone um 12 pro max or something or 11 pro max you guys i don't know anything about new gadgets or new phones or new iphones that are coming out nothing like that i literally don't even know um all i know is that i bought this phone and it has three little circle like lenses things on it that's literally all i know about this phone i don't know anything else about it but that's what else i use as well and then um someone did recommend to me that i should make a video on how i film my videos and what i used to edit so if you would like an in-depth video about that because you're thinking about starting a youtube channel i definitely don't mind making that video for you guys it might be like not um not like super super long because there's not really much to it it's actually much easier than you think i know before i started my youtube channel i was like oh my gosh it's gonna be so hard it's gonna be like i don't know anything about editing but you guys trust me i don't know how to edit at all i don't know anything about like i barely know how to navigate social media but you guys I know how to edit my videos. It's really not difficult, especially once you get the hang of it. So if you want a video on how I edit my my videos, um, leave a comment down below and let me know if you would like to see that because I can definitely film that for you guys. I'm also going to be filming the um, cluster nail, cluster rhinestone video for you as well. 
Um, I definitely know that a lot of people really liked um, the idea of me filming that. But I wanted to show you guys these nails that I did. They turned out so freaking cute. And this definitely has a little bit of a cluster nail. Um, this isn't going to be the cluster nail video. But I am going to be um, posting a video to these nails. I recorded the entire set process and everything like that. So if you would like to see that, don't forget to st stick around um, for my next video. And don't forget to subscribe. You guys mean so much to me. And leave a comment down below on what you think. But yeah. Um, I think that's all for me you guys and I really hope you guys like this video I hope it helped you guys in any way shape or form and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye